Motion blur versus eye strain. So there's a very small percentage of people like myself who absolutely love CRT TVs and then probably plasma TV be a close second, then probably OLED. And we kind of hate LED, even though what you're looking at on the screen right now is um, LED. It's called an XG270, 240 hertz refresh rate, which would be considered a pretty high refresh rate monitor. And we'll get into that a little bit. But you're witnessing on the on the YouTube channel right now, if you want to get like the ultimate on like CRT tube TVs, uh, Digital Foundry covers it, Linus Tech Tips covers it, and tons of tech guys have just been consider or comparing these tube TVs to the current tech and how they just blow them out of the water. Well, I feel like a lot of people don't understand because these guys compare it and then you have to take their like they'll show you they're like well look how clean this image is and da 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 and usually that makes sense to people but I kind of want to come at it from a different angle so there's a small group of people and I don't know what number we would be one in five thousand one in ten thousand one in one thousand I don't know because I hear people I do hear people complain about it but usually people don't really know what they're seeing and how it's causing eye strain but let me tell you my journey with LEDs has been pretty damned insane like even to the point where to this day I will still not use LED lights because they drive me crazy give me migraines and eye pain can't sleep stay awake all night what you're looking at up there are halogen lights but anyways let's really get into this we'll, we'll try to make it pretty quick but uh, dig in the digital foundry and there's also uh, let's see if we can find them uh, Blur Busters is the ultimate source on zero motion blur and it's a fantastic site if you're suffering from eye strain or you want to talk about like low input lag or best screen for the job and I'm always about best screen for the job. I love my CRT TVs. So let's go over here and let's get into it a little bit. So right there is another XG270. I actually own two of them. But in the case of this, it's kind of just functioning as a regular 60 hertz screen because it has a PS4 hooked up to it. And there's Sonic. And to be fair, it looks pretty on it, or like pretty good. But people like me, even at 60 frames, which this game runs at, let's see if we can try to get into it. Um, 60 FPS on a LED screen, especially with a, um, it, it depends the game, like first person shooter and especially like 2D side scrollers like Sonic, actually can be very eye straining to me and I, truth be told, cannot tolerate them very long. Um, so the reason why I kind of wanted to mention like the high refresh rate monitor, so this would be more PC gaming related and a little bit more recently PS5 and Xbox, but I'm not gonna mention that. See how fast the screen's scrolling right there? Um, that kind of stuff, like on a, at 60 hertz for me, is just like eye death. Like it just does not feel good to me and sometimes I can only tolerate it for like 20 minutes before my eyes are at the back of my head. But anyways, an another part of this would just be that 30 FPS games can be very problematic for me and that's like a whole nother ballpark but that's what I got right here. So we're playing Sonic 60 FPS on the uh, LED screen there and I got Tales of the Abyss which targets 30 FPS. I'll be very kind to it and it almost mostly hits it but here it is on um, CRT TV and the interesting thing about this is this would what would be called it's like almost like a last generation crt before they threw in the towel and they're like okay we're full led now well at the time it would have been lcd uh, uh compact fluorescent but we've switched over to led interesting things i've noticed though is that i performed so much better with crts and i've become a very big fan of them um this guy's my favorite though um, some people don't like these HD CRTs because it's a, to my understanding, an all digital signal. So there can be like a couple frames of lag. But for most of the games that I play, if you're playing RPGs, it doesn't matter. Um, if you have to have zero lag, then you're going to want to go to the analog signal like this guy or this guy there. 
but let me tell you the advantages as quickly as I can. Like this, like, don't get me wrong, like these high refresh rate LED monitors are fantastic, but they have high blue light and the motion response time, it's not great. Even, so I've almost got my tolerance figured out and I would say it's about 120, maybe it's 100. It's a little closer to 120 as I've like tested myself playing games for hours and hours and generally about 120 and above, I can almost play most of the, like I like if I wanted to do like a 16 hour gaming session, I could do it if I wanted to. Um, but it's still, the high blue light kind of gets to me. What I like about these monitors though, is you can turn the brightness down really low on these guys in particular. Um, I feel like you can get down to CRT, on this guy here, you can get down to CRT levels of brightness, which is really dim. And there's also another small set of, I guess generally when you have issues with LEDs, there's a, there's a lot of things. Like you don't like LED flicker, you don't like the high blue light, you seem to struggle with bright light, and these are all like triggers of LED. But on these CRTs, which to be fair, I kind of got the bright, uh, brightness cranked up a little bit high. But the motion clarity you get on these, if you if you follow the Blurbuster site, what you're gonna find is that it takes 960 hertz refresh rate, which no, no, no game is programmed to do. You're lucky to get, you're lucky, honestly, truth be told on PC, you're lucky to get 120. But I have played a lot of games at 240. Um, like I own a bunch of PC games. Like I have this game on PC but I like my physical media, but I had this game on PC and I have played it and at 240 and it was fantastic. But anyways, when I play on my CRT TVs, which you'll probably see a lot on this channel, I get no issues. And they just look fantastic. They feel fantastic. I can play them for hours. And then on this guy that you're watching right here, you'll see that I watch all sorts of movies on, which I've got thousands of movies and very quickly we'll flip the signal and there you got um oh even the sound system in this thing's fantastic but yeah that's just a little pretty brief um discussion about motion blur and it is a very big problem for people and it, it just it never gets talked about enough i, I always see this seem to see the fighting about frame rates. Oh, I don't need more than 60 or I don't need more than 30. For me, it's not even that. I need it more because of the eye strain. But the cool thing about CRTs, if you can get a game to run at 60, it's like the equivalent of like a thousand hertz refresh rate. Like it just, the motion's amazing and there's just no blur. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and we'll talk to you again. Have a good day.